The first of the week's handicaps is next, and it's a 0 to 80. It's a two mile four furlong Ascot Stakes. And at the top, we've got Harlem Raw for Stu Gray, Deep Backward Scare for Satyam, The Big Hearth, Obi Wan, Meg Mucklebones, Martin Leader, and Captain Paddy for Alex Cherry. So, a field of just five. So, everybody's going to take some prize money home then. And away they go. The joint second longest race of the week. And Deep Backward Square is the first one to show, as you might expect, for Satyam, who locks his front runners. There's two greys in this, the Alex Cherry horse is the other one, that's Captain Paddy. And it's Deep Backward Square who's clearing the lead and the rest of them are in a line of four, almost like four slips and a Deep Backward Square at this point then. So Deep Backward Square in the lead from Harlem Roar has now just gone second. Captain Paddy wide on the track is third. The yellow jacket of the Big Hearth on that one's inside. And the purple and white stripes of Meg Mucklebones is the one that's on the rail, but the leader Deep Backward Square has opened up by a good six or seven lengths with a little more than two miles still to go and Deep Backward Square for Satyam is having a good season clear by seven to Captain Paddy in second Harlem Raw is third Meg Mucklebones is in fourth and the Big Hearth is just about fifth we've got five different trainers Everybody's going to take some prize money home and somebody's going to get themselves on the leaderboard. This is the fifth race of the day. We've got two winners for Derek Hinton so far, the Queen Anne and the St James's Palace. Vinnie Gerard took the Coventry Stakes and John Morgan took the sprint, the King Stand. And it's Deep Backward Square in the lead who's trying to give Satya on the Ascot Stakes with Captain Paddy back in second. Harlem Roar is third. And Meg Mucklebones is fourth, and the Big Hearth is fifth. What has been pretty much the same all the way around. There's a mile and a half still to go. And Satyam Sandra Sagam's deep backward square continues to show the lead. We're on Harlem Roar in second for Stu Great. And Alex Cherry's Captain Paddy. Obi Wan's the Big Hearth, and then Meg Mucklebones. In the purple and white stripes for your commentator is the back marker, but it's deep backward square. Who's the leader? Probably only by six now. To Harlem Roar in second. Captain Paddy third. Meg Mucklebones of the Big Hearth. And they seem quite happy to let this deep backward square have the lead. Don't seem all that keen on reeling him in at the moment. He's coming down towards the final mile now. Deep backward square is clearing the lead. As he has been from the outset. Harlem Roar and Captain Paddy sharing second. And the Big Hearth and Meg Mucklebone sharing fourth. There's no doubt about the leader. That's Deep Backward Square. Still six clear with seven to go. And Captain Paddy, who's now starting to make a move as the chasing pack starts to get a little bit closer. The lead's down to five now. Deep backward square still in front, though, from Captain Paddy second. Then Harlem Raw. Meg Mucklebones is next, and then the Big Hearth. Deep backward square. Continuing to lead. Captain Paddy, the bottom weight's in second. Then Harlem Raw, the top weight's in third. Big Hearth and Meg Mucklebones are next. We've only got five furlongs to go now. Start the turn for home shortly, and the leader, Deep Backward Square, is now only two lengths clear of Captain Paddy in second. The Big Her third, Meg Mucklebones is fourth, and Harlem Roar is fifth. Three and a half furlongs to go. Deep Backward Square still in front. Meg Mucklebones, though, is being shook up now to come through to challenge into second. Then comes Captain Paddy and the Big Hearth. Harlem Roar struggling under the weight at the back, but Deep Backward Square kicks on again with two and a half to go. Meg Mucklebones throws down the challenge. Now Captain Paddy on the lightweight is third, then the Big Hearth, and finally Harlem Roar, but Meg Mucklebones hits the front with two furlongs to go. It's Meg Mucklebones who's gone on from Deep Backward Square. Captain Paddy and the Big Hearth. I think you can forget Harlem Roar is a furlong to go, and Meg Mucklebones is too clear, but the Big Hearth and Captain Paddy are closing. Meg Mucklebones is too clear from the Big Hearth in second. Captain Paddy's back in third. The rest are beaten. Meg Mucklebones in front. The Big Hearth closing with every stride, though. Meg Mucklebones needs the line to come. The Big Hearth is getting closer, but Meg Mucklebones aren't going to take it. The Big Hearth is second, and then Captain Paddy and Harlem Roar and Deep Backward Square after that one. 
around. Make muckle bones. Takes it by about a length from the Big Hearth second. So Meg Mucklebones wins it for Martin Leland. The Big Hearth for Obi won second. Captain Paddy Alex Cherry was third. Harlan Ross do grow fourth. A long time leader, deep backward square for Satyam Sandra Sagam was fifth. <laughs>